It happened before and it won't be the last time. Southeast Asia team T1 has replaced their carry player Solia Jackie Kunvetsavon and replaced them with 23 Savage who was looking for a team just last week. It's unfortunate for Jackie, but this doesn't mean T1 can just walk into the major with a new player without any penalties. In fact, they will be losing 20% of their DPC points from the Singapore major for the roster replacement. There's more roster movement. Fortunately, it's none of the major teams this time. TNC Predator say goodbye to Damien KP Chok and Kim Febi Young Min, and they welcome Jun Bok Hanehara and Marvin Bumi Rushton. Bok and Bumi was previously on Omega Esports, who has just been promoted to the upper division from the lower division. They will need to replace two players now. Over in North America, Sad Boys, Peter PPD Dagger, and David DMM Castle has left the team. Eric Rioya Dong has left Black and Yellow and has joined Sad Boys who have now been renamed to Penta Ace. Zakari Z Freak Freeman also joined Penta Ace as he leaves Simply 2 Base, who was recently promoted to the upper division. Dota Plus is finally getting an update. Fans have been calling for Relic updates, quests to be done in Turbo Mode, even if it's half the normal rate of the normal matches. Valve just delivered it and they also dropped a brand new treasure containing new item sets for heroes. On to tournament news. Beyond the Summit is running their fifth iteration of BTS Pro Series America. It is currently ongoing and will end on March 21st. Epic League Season 3 is also going on. They're currently playing in their group stages. The top 8 teams will be placed into Division 1, while the bottom 8 teams will play in Division 2. Over in the Chinese DPC, we're getting closer to finding out the 4 teams heading over to Singapore. This week, the top match was between Elephant and Beachy Gaming, and it did not live up to the hype. Beachy Gaming brought their A game and defeated Elephant 2-0. Penguin picked up a bash up, bash on Mars. Rolling Thunder with the bash. Oh, they've got the soul bind, so that stops the Rolling Thunder from moving. Do they have the damage? The Serpent Wars are committed onto this. Erica jumps in, and they just don't have the damage to even kill off Old Eleven, who's back to rolling around in this fight. Yang gets away, but he's bashed up once again, trying to run with BKB running out of duration. They've got the disarm onto the DK, but still, Yang hit with the Wraith Fire Blast. A couple more right clicks coming from Erica. They'll get the kill onto the Mars, who buys back. And Somnus is just killed with no buyback himself, and so is Red Panda. This game is looking like the beginning of the end now, as they have just destroyed and GG. Elephant. That's and a very yeah, sub GG, GG call, but they also recognize the fact that their, their lineup is not programmed to play until late game. So they were supposed to win this game in the mid game, did not manage to do so. VG held them off. Here's the standing for week 5 for China. Invictus Gaming continues to stand above the rest. Week 6 will be very interesting. Elephant has an easier opponent against Team Magma, while LGD will be playing VG Gaming. It's a 3 way tie for the final 2 spots. Spark Arrow Gaming, CDEC Gaming, and Royal Never Guild all have a 5 on 1 record. For week 6, Spark Arrow Gaming will be playing Phoenix Gaming, and RNG will be playing CDEC. We will find out who will emerge on top. Last piece of Dota news. Artifact, the once anticipated card game from Valve and Richard Garfield, the creator of Magic the Gathering, has officially become free to play. However, it ceases all development. Valve will officially move on to other projects. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.